Hi, in this tutorial we'll see how to make a gas detecting system using a MQ2 sensor and a buzzer. So this is our circuit diagram. I connected a digital output of the MQ2 sensor to the 8th pin of Arduino Mega and a buzzer to a 7th pin of Arduino Mega. And I've also connected it physically. So here in the cam window you can see that I connected my MQ2 sensor and also a buzzer here. So let's see how to program this in Simulink. It's a very simple program. So let's see how to do that. Go to Simulink support package for Arduino. Select new model. Go to common. So I've connected it. I need two pins that is digital input and digital output so the digital input pin is going to read my mq2 sensor status and it is going to be connected to my pin 7 I'm not going to connect the pin 7 now so let's before that I want to see how this sensor works so I'm going to connect a probe scope to this and go to run on hardware prepare to run select Arduino Mega ok So let's check the scope. So here you can see that the signal is in high status. So even though there is no gas detection system here in this room, so there is no trace of gas. But here you can see that the pro uh, graph it is going on one, which means that it is in high state. Let's see how this sensor behaves if I expose some uh, artificial gas to my sensor. So um, for this I'm going to use a lighter. So let's see this how the gas sensor responds for this. So you can see that the value has come down in our graph. In the scope window you can see that whenever it detects a gas it comes down to zero so this sensor works in opposite way that if there is no gas presence the sensor gives a, out, a high as a output signal and if there is a gas presence it gives low as a signal so let's program for this now so it will be useful for you uh, to check whether how your sensor behaves before uh, going for a program so I'm gonna stop this now Gonna search go to logic and choose a compare to constant and if it is less than one okay so my buzzer has to turn on this is what the logic I'm gonna use here so if I directly connect this pin to pin uh, if I directly connect this input to my output pin so whenever there is no gas presence the buzzer will go on so if there is a gas presence the buzzer will go off so there I should be careful so that's the reason I'm using a comparator statement here if it is goes below one then my buzzer should turn on this is what my logic here so let's try this in our hardware here the model is running so we'll check the scope now so here are the values showing as high let's expose a sensor to the gas so 
so here you can see that the buzzer goes on till the gas presence on the sensor the buzzer will goes on so here you can see the graph too that it just changes to again to high status so that's it for this tutorial thank you